The Tim Maloney Handicap Chase is next. Three miles and four furlongs, 0 to 120. Finding Alice at the top for Martin Lillian, River Tarquin, John Morgan, Langley Street, Graham Clutterbuck, Fermion Freeze, and Rebecca Sledmere for David Robertson, Billish Chatter, Vinnie Gerard, Alexandra Cornwall, Padraig Hogan, Sandrock, John Morgan, Agent of the Free, Padraig Hogan, Classic Chance, Alex Cherry, Protractor Hayes, Daniel French, and Arctic Watch for Alex Cherry. Called in and away then in the Tim Maloney short run to the first, which is a ditch, and they're all safely over it. And Sandbrook, look, he's going to show the way. Stable mate River Tarquin coming through as well. So those two, it would seem, are going to dispute the lead. And set the pace as they get to the second. We'll need to jump a little bit better than that, Sandbrook. He's going to stick around to the end. Fermi on freeze is in third. As they get to the third. And there's a fall of there. It's Arctic Watcher's gone. So Arctic Watcher's gone. Crashes down at that one. And River Tarquin is just in front from stable mate Sandbrook as they come past the winning post. Two complete circuits of the track ahead of them. Gap back to Fermi on freeze in third. And then Classic Chances fourth. With Agent of the Free after that one. And finding Alice the top weight. Langley Streak is next. Alexandra Cornwall, just the back marker. These John Morgan pair have opened up by six lengths. That's setting the pace. And it's a good one. From Fermi and Free, six lengths back in third. In Classic Chances, fourth. Agent of the Free is fifth. In Billish Chatter on the inner side of Langley Streak. Finding Alice the Grey after that one. Tractor Hayes in the similar colours, just a slightly different shade of sort of maroon, or whatever you want to call it. Alexandra Cornwall continues to be the back marker. And the Sand Rocket is over the next from River Tarquin, and safely over the sixth. Got a long way to go, a lot of jumping to do still. Sandbrook and River Tarquin dispute the lead. Oh, agent of the floor. Well, Alexandra Cornwall's gone at the back there. That's a second one to go. Alexandra Cornwall falling at the back. Stable companion, agent of the free, has moved through into third. Fermi on freeze is back in fourth. The rest of them virtually in a line with the exception of Billish Chatter, who's now just a back marker following Alexandra Cornwall's departure at that previous fence. Sandbrook and River Tarquin. Looks like Sandbrook's going to take it up on his own for a while. Leads by about a length and a half. And the stable mate River Tarquin second. They've got a four length advantage over Agent of the Free. And Fermi on freezes after that one. And then Protractor Hayes and Langley Street with classic chance in between them. Rebecca Sledmere trying to come around the outside and then the back two finding Alice the Grey and Billish Chatter in the Vinnie Gerard two shades of green as they get over this ditch. Which they all take nicely. The has gone back up on the outside of his stable mate again now. And over the 11th. Sandbrook has just gone back into the lead. That one seems to be the one that keeps trying to take it up on his own as they get over the 12th which they all get over nicely with Tarquin sitting happily on his tail in second half of six lengths then to eight of the free and Fermi on freeze and as before the rest of them are a nice little group together and a gap of five lengths back to the back marker Billish Chatter so past the winning post they go one more circuit of the track to go in this Tim Maloney handicap chase and Sandbrook He's leading there by a length and a half to River Tarquin in second. And get back then to Agent of the Free and Fermi on freeze. And Protractor Hayes, Langley Street still going around the inside and finding Alice still coming around the outside in between the two of them. Rebecca Sledmere and Classic Chance and then Billish Chatter is about five lengths adrift out the back. 
They've got just over a mile and a quarter still to go. And Sandbrook and River Tarquin have been 1 2 all the way. It's been mostly Sandbrook in the lead as they get over the 13th. And now the lead is the biggest it's been. It's a good two lengths or so now. Sandbrook from River Tarquin as they get over the 14th. And Sandbrook is really beginning to stretch now. Probably three clear of stable mate River Tarquin, maintaining a five length advantage over the rest of them as they hit into the final mile and over the 15th. All over that one they go. And Sandbrook in the lead. River Tarquin second, Age of the Freeze third, then Langley Streak. Rebecca Sledmere and Protractor Hayes, then Classic Chance finding and is starting to struggle under the top weight. Billish Chatter. He's out of shot as they get over the 16th and finally Alice nearly went there. She's probably out of it now. And it's Sandbrook who gets over that ditch in front from River Tarquin in second. Then Fermion Freeze is now starting to run on in third. Agent of the Free Protractor Hayes is trying to get into it as well. As they swing for home, they've still got four fences to take. And Sandbrook is in front. River Tarquin's been overtaken for the first time by Agent of the Free and Protractor Hayes. Then River, then Fermion freezes after that one. And Langley Street and Rebecca Sledmere. Classic chance he's trying to run on. I think he can forget finding Alice and Billish Chatter. They're out of it. But it's Protractor Hayes who's now gone on as the Morgan Pair finally give way. Protractor Hayes then over the fourth class in the lead. From on the inside, Agent of the Free. Then comes Sandbrook who's trying to run on again. Langley Streak is still running on well off the back over the third last the final ditch. And it's Protractor Hayes who's in the lead. Protractor Hayes in front from Agent of the Free in second. Fermi on freeze and Langley Streak are next. They're racing down towards the final. Final couple in now, and it's Protractor Hayes who's clearing the lead over the second last. Gets over it nicely. Agent of the Freeze over it in second. Fermi on Freeze is in third. Then Langley Street when it's looking like Protractor Hayes is pulling away. Only got to jump the last. Pops over it nicely. Well clear. And this one could be well in for a shot at the Whitbread next week as Protractor Hayes is racing up towards the line. A massively easy winner. You don't see many winning handicaps by this far. And Protractor Hayes is won this by a good 8 to 10 length from Langley. Langley Streak in second, Agent of the Free Third, then Fermi and Freeze, River Tarkin, Sandbrook, Rebecca Sledmere, Classic Chance, and finally finding Alice and Billish Chatter. Well, Protractor Hayes has got to go in a few notebooks for the Whitbread next week, I would think. After that performance, just over one furlong further next week, and last year's winner, Finding Alice, last year's winner of the Whitbread, was well beaten, so that's got to be given. Protractor Hayes, some chance, but I expect it'll go up a few pound. It'll still be well in, though. Protractor Hayes for Daniel French, the winner. Langley Street for Graham Clutterbuck, second. Agent of the Free, Padre Hogan, was third. Fermi on Freeze for David Robertson was fourth. And the fifth place horse was River Tarquin for John Morgan.